Well, recently you've probably seen quite a few of the usual chin tuggers on television denouncing Saudi Arabia for the disappearance and probable death of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. The Trump administration, they're telling us, isn't doing enough in response to this. Why? Well, of course, because Trump loves dictators. He just does, loves the dictators. Is that really true? The real reason that Trump is being soft on the Saudis, if he is in fact being soft, is because the people who surround him are pushing him to do that. Neocons love the Saudis because the Saudis oppose Iran. It's that simple, and nothing that's happened in the last week is going to change that. Now, we're not here to endorse Saudi Arabia. It's obviously a corrupt medieval desert theocracy. But we should pause for a moment and point out the hypocrisy from our own press. Saudi Arabia has been in the news for a long time, like 100 years. None of them ever seem to care about Saudi implication in 9-11, Saudi government funding radical Islamic ideology around the world, funding insurgents in Syria, radical imams in the West. They barely even covered the Saudi, Saudi military campaign in Yemen, which has been horrifying. And then twice in the past two years, this country, the United States, bombed Syria, even though no apparent American interests were at stake there. Why did we do that? Well, in part because Saudi Arabia pushed us to do it. And you know what the media said? They loved it. Watch. Uh, it was uh, required to take uh, direct uh, military action to degrade the use of, uh, of uh, chemical weapons by the murderous Assad regime. It's very clear to me that this president, after using such rhetoric on Sunday, has to take strong, stronger military action than we did last year. We have a leader who is now a war criminal supported by the Iranians and the Russians. That demands a strong and risky response. If the West won't stand up when a leader uses uh, gas multiple times against his own people, we live in a very dangerous world. You know what you just heard? You just heard the Saudi line on foreign policy. And all those little robots were repeating it uncritically as they have for decades. Now they're whipping around and saying that Trump is sucking up to the Saudis because he's got a soft spot for strong men. Well, really, if you're concerned about sucking up to strong men, what do you make of what the media and the left more broadly has done with the biggest and most heinous and powerful, by the way, dictatorship in the world every single day? That, would, of course, would be the Chinese government. China has murdered far more people than Saudi Arabia even considered beheading. The press doesn't care. And in fact, as they whine, the president, our president, has been too hard on China. Boo-hoo. So someday in the very near future, when China surpasses the United States in the size of its economy and military power, they'll be ready to bow down to their new overlords, just like Kent Brockman on The Simpsons. And we'd like to... Ah! For one, welcome our new insect overlords. I'd like to remind them that as a trusted TV personality, uh, I can be helpful in rounding up others to toil in their underground sugar caves. Yeah, sugar caves. That's just in the cartoon. In real life, you'll be working in a Foxconn factory. Have fun.